again whenever I'm ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, first and foremost, I want to say good morning, everybody. As you can see, my name is up there, right? And my main point of discussion is I should not be here in this class talking to you all. Now, I say that because I'm actually an immigrant. I was uh, born in a, a small country in South America called Guayaquil, Ecuador. Now, for me, my country will always be my home. It was where I was born, I was raised. However, if you look at it realistically, we are a third world country and living there for the first few years of my life was not the greatest. Well, we lived in poverty, my family growing up. So we went from you know using well water to cook to having to, shower, having to shower and wash our clothing in lakes to sometimes even having to use bathrooms with no plumbing. So in reality, if you take the average person here in the United States, put them in my situation, you know, people would see that as unbearable, unreasonable, unsanitary, maybe even horrific, right? But for me personally, I really didn't mind. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Being in a small third world country like that and being relatively close to my family growing up made me realize how much of, how much of a carefree life and a normal routine I could follow day by day. And one with waking up every single day, making my bed, getting dressed up for what people call pre-K here, over there. Um, I would go downstairs, help my mother and make her make the breakfast with her. After that, head to school for a couple hours, come back and then mainly do chores for the rest of the day until I got time to play outside with nearby friends or our neighbors. And the thing is, nothing was ever expensive there because things were cheaper, right? Food was fresh. There wasn't really toys that we had to play with. We just you know, used our imagination. And it was something about that that made me realize that I enjoyed every single bit of it. However, even though I did enjoy it, right, I do not regret for one second that I'm here in the United States. I appreciate the opportunity that my parents gave me for being here and the sacrifice they made for me because it, co it goes to show that even though I enjoyed myself over there, I wouldn't have gotten as far as I am and where I am right now. And that's what I want to speak about my cultural heritage is that no matter where I'm from or no matter how successful I get, I will never forget how happy I used to be and I will never take any of those moments for granted. So I'm here to tell you that, you know, being in the third world country like Guayaquil, Ecuador and coming to the United States have changed me a lot, but mostly for the better. And like I said, if it wasn't for my parents, I would not be here talking to you all now. Questions? Oh.